contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net. This video addresses an issue with Windows 10 computers that's been interrupted during updates. So basically what happens is, is during a Windows 10 update, the computer either loses power or is turned off. So what happens after that is the next time the computer is powered on, you're greeted with nothing but a black screen and a flashing cursor. So each time you try to power cycle the computer, you're just stuck, a black screen, flashing cursor. The best way around that is to have your Windows 10 uh, CD or your Windows 10 flash drive and we're going to boot. We're going to boot to that. We'll power off the computer. And I'm going to plug this flash drive into one of the USB ports. You may use a CD as I said before. So we're going to power on and press escape. In this case for the HP laptop to get to our BIOS. One F9 for our bi or F10 for our BIOS setup. F10. And we want to make sure that we don't have any secure boot enabled. This computer came with Windows 7 and it did not have secure boot, so there is no secure boot here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to reboot the computer again. We're going to press, in this case, Escape, and we'll be greeted with the boot options here. We want, we want uh, boot device options F9, and you'll see here our hard drive is listed, CD-ROM drive, or in this case, our flash drive. We'll scroll down to that. That's our Windows 10 flash drive, and we'll tell the computer to boot to that. Okay, and immediately this screen here comes up, and let me just go ahead and zoom in here a little bit for you. Okay, from this point, uh, it says to, if you want to continue with the upgrade, remove the media from your PC and click yes. So we're going to remove the Windows 10 USB stick, and we'll click yes. And the computer is now going to reboot. And this is something we're going to try and see if it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So that didn't work. So what we'll do is we'll insert our Windows 10 disk again. Boot device options, F9. Okay, this time we get the same pop-up window wanting to know if we want to remove the media and repair. Well, so this time instead of removing the media and clicking yes, we're going to say no and that will continue to our Windows 10 setup installation. We're going to do repair your computer down there at the bottom. So let's try this. Let's troubleshoot. Advanced options. And just for the heck of it, let's try a startup repair. Choose a target, Windows 10. And let's see if that brings us back to life. It says start at repair, could not repair your PC. Press the advanced option to try other options. Let's see what this goes to here. Okay, and even though it says that, what we're going to do is go ahead and try to see if it boots to it anyway. So the computer's going to reboot. Ah, and there we go. So it looks like we're, we're booting into Windows 10 now.
this is going to do a uh, check disk so we're going to go ahead and let it do all that So there you go. So what I'll go ahead and do in this case is I'll go ahead into his account and I'll just do all, make sure Windows 10 is all fully updated and everything. He did state that while it was updating he got impatient and shut the computer down and it got stuck on that cursor. But uh, yeah, quick little way just to, to repair any kind of boot issues or boot up problems. In this case a black screen flashing cursor using the Windows 10 startup repair option to kind of correct the, the boot issue. So that's it. Guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope this helps somebody and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.